To find out if bodybuilding affects your growth or not, we first of all have to look at how growing actually works. And basically growing means that your bones become longer. So how do your bones become longer? A human adult body has 206 bones, but a newborn baby actually has 300 of them. And over time, when the baby grows, these bones fuse together and in the end finally build those 206 an adult has. But in the meantime, those are not connected and there is what is called cartilage between them. And cartilage basically is the stuff that you hate to bite on when you eat meat. Your body lets your bones grow by adding more cartilage to the cartilage that is already there and that cartilage is then slowly over time, over the next 20 to 25 years when the baby grows up, turned into actual bone. So what influences this process? And that's basically two things. The first is genetics and the second is nutrition. Genetics simply means that your body is pre-programmed to have this whole process going on for a certain set of time. And for some people that process lasts longer and they will become taller. And for some people it doesn't last that long and they will be comparatively smaller. If you want to have an idea about the final height you will probably arrive at, then have a look at your parents, but also at your grandparents and look at their body styles. If they are rather tall, then it's very likely that you will become tall too, but if they all are smaller, then it's more likely that you will be a bit smaller as well. And the second factor, of course, is nutrition. Now, all this um, producing cartilage and then turning the cartilage into bone um, takes, of course, certain nutrients, and if your body doesn't have those nutrients, it can't let that process run. And when you then go through um, puberty and your body finally decides, hey, I'm an adult now, um, it will finish this process no matter for how long it really had the ability to let that process run. And then in the end, you will be smaller. So directly bodybuilding and strength training and all that don't influence this process. They can only do that indirectly by what people start doing when they pick up these activities. And the first thing here is that some people tend to do one exercise for a very long amounts of time with too much weight and in bad form. And if you do that and you are still a teenager when your bones are still comparatively soft, your body may react to this bad stress by deforming its bones to cope with it. Something similar happens to people who carry a very heavy bag uh, for years and years over one of their shoulders, where the spine may then react to, uh, with deforming its spine to cope with this one-sided form of stress. And the second thing is that uh, some teenagers, when they start bodybuilding or do bodybuilding, then they are tempted to try out steroids or pro-hormones. And both of those influence your body's hormone level. Basically, when you use steroids, your body starts producing more testosterone. And that is the same thing that happens when you go through puberty. Your body starts producing more testosterone when you go through puberty and having more testosterone is one of the signals that tells your body that it is an adult and has to finish the growing process. So when you take steroids, what happens is you artificially raise your body's hormone levels and your body prematurely thinks it is an adult and can finish growing. So if you're a teenager and you want to start bodybuilding, it's basically three things that you have to look out for. Number one is make sure you have a balanced nutrition where you get all the nutrients your body needs to go through all the growing it wants to do and lets you have really strong bones later when you are an adult. And number two is um, when you do exercises, do them with the amount of weight that you can fully control and where you can do those exercises with good form. And number three is don't use steroids or pro-hormones because those make it more likely that your growing process will indeed 
shut off before it's time for that. In the description of this video I have links to a bit more background information on this whole subject that you can read if you want to find out a bit more about it. And this concludes this video. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.